welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we are going to be doing a curly haired style look. Now, I know I have done a video on this on the channel before, but I thought I'd just do a new one since there are some viewers or subscribers that have joined up and probably haven't seen the video. Also, just want to remind everybody that this video is going to be a bit of the same as the other one however the first one i did put out was rather like choppy and the editing was not great so we're gonna try and make this a bit better and we're gonna do a tutorial and i will speak pretty much a lot through it so let's get on okay so as usual i'm gonna be telling you the products that i will use throughout this video so i if i hadn't have washed my hair i went to the gym this morning go me and I washed my hair when I got back and I just put this in it is the Soap and Glory. Oh, cute. It's the Soap and Glory hair shampoo. Everybody has been hearing me rave about this. You know, I made a video yesterday speaking about it. And I also put some of this stuff in just the bottom of my hair just to, you know, make sure that it stays and it, it you know, I don't know, it's almost as if it just makes sure that it is durable and easy to work with when filming. You know, sometimes during filming my hair gets really, I don't know, it's just really like not nice feeling. So I just do that sometimes if I see that it needs to be done. Also, it smells like watermelon. I mean, like, come on is the thing so those are the products that i tend to use sometimes i will use hairspray but i don't like the feeling of hairspray afterwards when it sets it's all crinkly i don't like it that much but some people do use it and that's completely fine so let's get on okay the first thing you want to do is you want to section it so that you have the back bit on the low ground yes i am wearing a hello kitty top it's cute I got it from TK Maxx, if you're wondering. So I just take my fingers and I just grab the section, which looks even, and then I just take a rubber band or a hair clip because I've got so many of those. And then I just tie it up in a way so that I don't touch it at all. There we go. And then I just bring all this down. So it stays looking cute. Now, if you want this to look really good, usually take small pieces. So I'm using the Lee Stafford one. Let's sniff, hold on, hold on, ooh. Yeah, Lee Stafford and I'm just, I like it a lot more than the other ones I've used. So what you wanna do is you wanna put it underneath and you want to wrap around and you want to get it quite close to your head now since this video my hair has grown quite a bit and i usually count to mississippi three times so i go mississippi 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 and then hold it for just a couple more seconds and then i unravel it and there we go it's so short i love it I really like the way it looks as well. Like, it just looks so cute. So then I take another small section. There we go. I'm just gonna flick that behind. And then I'm just do that again on this bit. I sometimes like to do it like the other way around, but usually it doesn't work out that well. Depends. So, Mississippi, Mississippi, Mississippi. And then I just unravel. It's cute how I have, I don't know why, but I like doing it where it has the, the tail bit. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's almost straight. I like that. This gives me a very artistic look. We'll say, love that. I am doing photography um, in college 
And if anybody is wondering, will I still be uploading? Of course I will. Like, I do college for two and a half days a week, but I will be uploading at least two or three times a week. So that will not change in the slightest. There we go. Just want to make sure that I have all of the curls. One, two, and three. Grab that and flick that around there. I would say I have done this before when my hair was extremely short and it did not go so well. So if you have like really, 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 really short hair, I would say that this could work and look really cute, but I think it takes a lot of styling to get looking right. I don't know. I had my hair cut short once and I absolutely hate it. Absolutely hate it. <laughs> it looked horrendous. First of all, it looked horrendous. But second of all, it just didn't look good. And I was kind of concerned as to why it looked so flat. So, you know. <laughs> so there we go. So you just want to do that until it looks like this. So I'm going to do this rest of the side off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that I did that, you just want to take your hair up like this on the sides. Up. Now, in my opinion, this is the bit I struggle with the most because I just tend to... Like, I am, I'm able to get this done, but it's so pernickety. Like, literally. Also, has anybody watched... Just out of question, anybody watched the new series of Heartstopper on Netflix? Because let me tell you something, I have not read the books. I have one of my friends, um, she, I don't know if she's watching it, but we were texting last night. If you're watching, hi, but if you are not watching, that's okay. We were texting last night and she was going on about how that she hadn't seen it yet and that... She was going to watch it that night and then she texted me just after she finished and she was telling me that, oh my God, it was so good. It was so good. She wants to watch it again. It was so good. I enjoyed it, right? But I kind of, I don't know. I really, really enjoyed it. I started watching the Heartstopper series probably, like I would say, a good, well, I would say maybe July, not July, I'm a liar, not July, probably sometime around, oh gosh, when? It's in March. I'm trying to get this to be curly, not zigzaggy. Because somebody wants a zigzag. I just don't like this. I'll live with it. Sometimes the curls are going to be a bit poofier than others. Ugh. I haven't really been watching anything else. Not much new stuff on social media anyway, because I don't know, it's just, there's not much new, besides obviously Heartstopper, I watched that, but everything else is just kind of crappy at the moment, like, where are the new things? Is there anything new, like, I, I don't know, I haven't seen anything new besides that heart stopper which is really a shame because i love netflix if i could i would work for netflix that's a joke that is a joke i swear it's a joke i would love to work for netflix though like 
just seeing what movies would be put out or TV series would be put out. I love that. I used to when it when it first came out, like probably actually when Netflix had it on it. I think it's still on there now. I haven't watched it in years. But I used to be addicted to the Vampire Diaries as well as Gossip Girl. I know they still have Gossip Girl because I watch that sometimes. But oh my god, I was addicted. Loved that show. Loved a lot of those just those random but like teen shows. Oh, I love them. Netflix has such like if you're a teenager and you've stumbled across my channel, hi, how are you? But most importantly, I just think Netflix has one of the best ratings for movies because I just remember watching Angus Thumbs of Perfect Snogging and I remember I wanted to dress up like the olive. I think it was olive for Halloween. For so many years, I was a right nut. I thought that that was like the best movie up until like recent movies. Whenever somebody would ask me, oh, what's your favorite movie? It'd be like Angus Long's Birthday Stalking. And then they would follow that up by like, oh my, isn't that like a teen movie? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Who cares, you know, who cares? It's all about, like, if you like something, you watch it. If nobody else likes it, that doesn't matter. If you like it, you do it. It's like when people, like, and it's, this is going to come under some controversy, maybe, but it's like makeup. When people say things like, oh, Roma, are you doing that again? I'd be like, yeah, I am. <laughs> so, uh, am I doing it on you? No, then it doesn't matter. Oh my god, it's so, it's just such a cute wee look. I actually can't, like, on the floor, screaming, crying, and throwing up. Look, I found a straight piece. It's not allowed. Oh, there is, there is. You need to be curled too. I'm sorry, but you do. There we go. So just having like all of that done again. I'm going to do this side off camera and I'll be back to do this bit. Okay, and here is the the next stage where we have to curl all of this. It does look pretty big and fluffy. I have this tiny wee little piece of hair there that I'm just moving out the way. Yeah, so if anybody can tell me or find something on social media that is interesting about, like, I don't know, any anything on social media, something like Netflix or maybe even Disney Plus, because, oops, because there has not been much on Disney Plus recently, which is not good because I love Disney Plus. That one is not good. There we go. Split them up. That's what I like to do. Split them up. Just grab this one. There. I do find it um easier to talk to myself when I do my hair. I don't know why I just end up speaking to myself. I can't shut my gob is what it is really nowadays, isn't it? There we go. You want to make sure that the curl is intact to the bottom of your um, hairstyle or maybe even like the curl itself needs to be fully like working and intact, you know, just so it looks even. There we go. 
just making sure that it looks decent and even. It does look a bit crazy. Sometimes what I like to do is I like to brush out the braids, but it's usually in more cases than one that takes out most of the curl. I don't love that, but I do love it when it looks really cute. There we go. I also like to put in some oil into my hair, like, um, uh, what's it called? Moroccan oil usually works really well in my hair. Okay, you know what I'm going to say, I'm going to make sure that this side is curled. I'll be back in like two shakes. Okay, now we need to curl just the front pieces, so I like to usually just curl them all like this I usually do it like this like along the way just because I feel like it makes it look a little bit better there we go just a big smoosh and then we do this one along here like so just leave it on for five seconds and then we just okay so at this point I like to just pull out the curls with my fingers I like to just pull them out just a wee bit more if they're not like if they're too curly I make sure that that is pulled out like so so that the curl is able to be seen and just looks voluminous and beautiful because there's nothing better than a voluminous curl. I have to go and take my granddad to the um, the football, which is just along the road. Can you see the difference? It's so, it's just so bonny and just so pretty. Burn my fingers. Look at that. Flat, boring, big, vibrant, bonnie. Anyway, sorry. So I have to take my granddad along there because he is getting a lot more slower recently. And my dad is at work. And so he he's going to join him afterwards. But for the most part, he just needs some help getting him there so i'm gonna eat my tea and then my granddad's coming around so he's gonna eat his tea here which will be good and then he will be walk to the the game via me so this video might get put up tonight or it might be put up tomorrow but if it is up tonight you're lucky because I had a lot going on. So there we go. That is that is it. Now I do again I do put some oil in it. So I put in this Moroccan oil in just a wee bit, not like too much. I don't want to cover my hair in it, but just a little bit. A pea sized drop is to be expected. So just that much, rub it in to my hands and then I just rub that in my hair like so and then I just rub it in on this side I just want to put a teeny weeny bit more in my hair just rub it in just apply it in my hair now I don't really know all the details with Moroccan oil, but I have heard that it is really good for your hair. So I just put it in and hope that it turns out stunning. 
so there we go that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it um i hope i did a lot better than i did when i first filmed this video i know that you know my editing style has changed a lot and it is nowhere near the same as it once was let's just say that and uh i hope i explain this a bit more clearly so that you're able to see this look really cute and stunning anyway if you'd like to see my face on any other platform of, of any social medias you can check out the links down below if you want to see my other video where i curled my hair the first one with the awful editing i should put that down in the description below also because as cringe as it was it is i guess part of history on my channel so I will see you next time, which will be very soon. I love you all.